Hey everybody, RetroPie Guy here. Today I'm going to show you how to change or select different emulators for your games on RetroPie. This comes in handy because most of your game collections on RetroPie have multiple emulators that can be used to emulate games. You will find that some ROMs only work on specific emulators, so oftentimes if you're jumping into a game and finding that the game doesn't function properly, or maybe doesn't even load at all, you just need to switch your emulator. There are a couple ways to customize your emulator selection in each collection, so we'll walk through that process as well. So for today's demo, I'm going to be using the Dreamcast collection because Dreamcast does have a couple different emulators that you can choose from. And in the case of Dreamcast, some of the ROMs only work on one specific emulator. So you may find that you need to go in and do exactly what we're gonna to do today and switch your emulators. So let's jump into Dreamcast. We're gonna jump into Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and you're gonna see this little rectangle that populates. As soon as you see that, you're gonna hit A on your gamepad controller. You do have to be pretty quick with it, so as soon as that popped up, I did hit A on my gamepad controller and it advanced me right into this menu screen that we see right here. So you can see that the option number one here is select default emulator for Dreamcast, and option two is select emulator for ROM. So the difference between these two is, is the first setting is going to be your default setting for which emulator is going to be pre-selected for the particular collection. So in this case, it's going to be using the Redream emulator every time that we open up any Dreamcast game. So you can see here at the end, it says in parentheses Redream. So that's where you would go if you want to change the default emulator for the entire collection. And now option two is if you want to change the emulator for the specific ROM. So in this case, our ROM is Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and it's pulling the default emulator from option one. So you can see here that it is set to Redream in both cases. So let's say that we want to change this particular game's emulator to a different one. We would go down here to option number two, select that with the A button on our gamepad controller. And here we see a list of all the emulators that are available to us for this collection that we can choose from. So if we were already on Redream here, so let's go up to LR-Flycast and we'll select that one. So here, looking at these settings again now, option one is still Redream. That's just saying that every game in here by default is going to go to Redream. However, with option two, we've changed it specifically for this title to go to that Flycast option. So if we were to do this right now, it's gonna open up Flycast. So I'm just gonna hit launch and just show you that it does boot up the game properly and it'll open it up in that Flycast emulator. So we'll just let this load for a second here. I'm not gonna go all the way into this game. I'm just gonna show you that it does work. So you can see that the ROM is fully loading in. So I'm gonna actually just hit my hotkey buttons, start and select together, brings me right back to our main menu. So if I open this up again, we're gonna do the exact same thing, hit A as soon as that box pops up, brings us right into our menu again. And let's say that now I want to change every single game in the entire collection of Dreamcast to go to that same Flycast emulator instead of Redream. I'll just select that option number one and do the exact same thing I did previously. So I'll switch it now to Flycast. And you can see here now, both of these options are set to Flycast. So I'm not gonna actually launch this game because we already demoed that and saw that it does in fact work. So I'm just gonna hit exit here, but I'm gonna jump into, once I exit, a different game and show you that once I jump into a different game, these same settings here of Flycast for option one and option two, will populate into every game because we did change that in that first option up here to select default emulator for Dreamcast. So again, everything is going to be Flycast now across the board for Dreamcast. So we'll go to exit and I'm just doing this for demo purposes. So we're gonna jump into NFL Blitz 2001. I'm gonna hit our A button. And again, just like I said before, you can see that Flycast is populated into option number one, and option number two has nothing in parentheses because we haven't set anything for this specific ROM yet. And again, if you wanted to go in here and change it from Flycast to something specific for this title, you could go ahead and do that. You would just hit that option again. You can make it Redream if you want, or just leave it as it is and it'll default to Flycast. So hopefully this was straightforward and easy to follow along. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me. 
I'm super easy to get a hold of. You can hit me up in the comment section below or directly through our website. So that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, smash the like button for me. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different things based around retro gaming. We do tutorials like this video, product reviews, gameplay demos, just a whole bunch of stuff in general. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.